Hi friends, welcome to Sri Sai IT Hub. In this video of Core Java Programming, we are going to discuss the following topic, Buffered Output Stream class with Java files. So using Buffered Output Stream, how we are going to write the data onto the files using File Output Stream. Right, so first of all, we'll have a small revision. What is IO streams in Java? IO, so IO stands for input output. Then what is stream? So stream means flow of data from source to destination in a Java program. So basically we have two types of streams. First one input stream and second one output streams in Java programming. So what are input streams? So input streams are nothing but reading streams. So these streams, they read the data from source to Java program. And generally the source is keyboard. We are going to accept the input from keyboard into the Java program. And second one output streams. So output streams are nothing but writing streams. So what writing streams will do? They will write the data from Java program onto the destination. And generally the destination is monitor or display or output screen. So from Java program, we are going to display the output on the display. And to work with Java IO streams, we have java.io package. So in this java.io package, we have different input stream classes and output stream classes. You can using which we can perform reading and writing operation in a Java program. So now coming to the concept of buffered output stream with Java files. So how to use buffered output stream to write the data onto a Java file. So first of all, this class is available in java.io package and this class buffered output stream. It is inherited from filter output stream and filter output stream is inherited from output stream, which is an abstract class. So all the methods of output stream can be used in buffered output stream class. So what is the speciality of this class? So this class provides a temporary buffer. Temporary buffer variable. So temporary buffer variable is byte array buff. So what is this temporary buffer? So whenever we are going to write the data onto the output stream using buffered output stream, First, the data will go to the temporary buffer. So in this byte array buff variable, the data will be stored. And from that temporary buffer, when we flush, when the buffer is full or when we close the output stream, that data will be written onto the output stream and output stream will be files or display. So using temporary buffer, what is the advantage? So whenever we are writing data on a common shareable resource. So common shareable resources means multiple uh, people are accessing the same resource in our system. So same resource means files or display. So here multiple Java programs are accessing the same file or same output screen to write the data. So in that case, first the data is written onto the temporary buffer and when the common shareable resource is busy means when that particular file or when that particular output screen is busy with other programs, other people, then it will wait. And once it is free, so when that common shareable resource becomes free, then it will write the data onto the common shareable resource. So this is what is the main advantage of temporary buffer. So using temporary buffer, we can wait till the data is written onto the output screen and coming to the constructors and methods of this class. So if you see the description of this class Java P hyphen P Java dot IO dot buffered output stream class open the command prompt go to your working directory and then issue the command Java P hyphen P Java dot IO dot buffered output stream. So this class contains two constructors public buffered output stream and for constructor parameter, we have to pass output stream. So output stream can be system dot out or it can be 
file output stream so now we are going to use file output stream to write the data onto the file and second constructor buffered output stream output stream comma int so int indicates the size of the buffer temporary buffer so this is a temporary buffer variable which will be automatically created when we create the object of buffered output stream class so first data will go to the temporary buffer and from temporary buffer the data will go to the file and these are some important methods write single byte of data as integer onto the output stream flush so when we flush the data from temporary buffer will go to the file so it is a it is this temporary buffer is like a intermediate storage before it is writing finally onto the output stream so base class output stream class description now in this class we have write byte array we can write multiple bytes of data at a time on the output stream flush and close so we can close the output stream like file output stream right so here so two important constructors and four important methods and all these methods throws io exception so these are checked exceptions io exceptions so whenever we are using these methods try catch is compulsory in our program so checked exception so try catch is compulsory right so let us try to demonstrate this with a small program buffered output stream example 2 so take a new page so first we'll write the comment so to program to write data on a file using buffered output stream class so import the package java.io.star so main class with main method buffered output stream example 2 so save this program in our working directory save the program as buffered output stream example 2 dot java right so first will read the data from keyboard and that data we are going to write it on the file using buffered output stream so initially we'll apply try catch so any exception will be caught by top level base class exception class and print exception type and message e right so here we'll say enter any data so enter any text right so to accept this text we are going to use system dot in dot read so read byte array which will read multiple bytes of data at a time from the keyboard b so we'll take byte array variable is equals to new byte array of something like 20 right so after reading the data we have to write it onto the file using buffered output stream so we'll also open file output stream fos is equals to new file output stream and we are going to open a file here something like sample file dot txt right and then we'll associate this file output stream with buffered output stream so buffered output stream bos is equals to new buffered output stream and then we'll pass fos here file output stream object and then finally simply fos dot write so fos dot write b so the byte array what we have read from the keyboard will be written onto the temporary buffer and from temporary buffer which is available in buffered input stream it will be written onto the file output stream which is sample file dot txt so here we have to use bos and then finally we have to say bos dot flush so now it will be written onto the file output stream and then close the buffered output stream 
and close file output stream right so any exception catch and process it right so save the program open the command prompt go to your working directory and then compile and run the program so buffer output stream example 2 dot java so no error run it so first it will read the data from keyboard so we'll write it as something like hello students all the best right so this data will first go to the temporary buffer which is available in buffered output stream and from there it will go to the file right so if we open the file notepad sample file dot txt so if you see here hello students comma all space that's it because the size of the byte array what we have taken here is only 20 bytes so we'll increase it to 100 bytes so let us close this file right so compile and rerun the program so compile it and rerun it so hello students welcome to sri sai it hub all the best right so open the file notepad sample file dot txt so the complete data is written onto the file so this is how we are supposed to work with buffered output stream with files so buffered output stream provides a temporary buffer internally so first data will go to the buffer and from there when we flush or close it will go to the file thank you for watching this video do like comment and share this video and also subscribe to the youtube channel sri sai it hub have a nice day